Hey folks, Panther in Brazil here. Today I want to talk about the American Dream. What is the definition of the American Dream? Some people say the freedom of religion. Others say that it's freedom and equality. Others believe that it's a dream of fame and wealth, if you work hard enough. What is your definition of the American Dream? In my opinion, the American dream for most is to own a lot of shit. And at what cost? Only to buy that extra TV, that upgrade on the car, to buy other shit for the house. You know, you're spending so much time and money and effort into trying to keep up with the Joneses that you, you ignore the family. Not only that, you're digging yourself an early grave. How many of you people go to work half dead because you're sick or because you're so depressed? How many of you do that? You know, are you afraid that, that your company is not going to last without you? You think the company is going to shut down without you? Come on. You are a tool for the company. You don't think that when it's time for you to go, they're going to find someone else. I'm just here to say that I don't believe in the American dream. Um, I believe that we work too much in the States. I believe that we are taken advantage of. I think we are too ready to go above and beyond the call of, deal, the call of duty for our, for our jobs. Even though we're sick, we think that we must go to work. Fuck that shit. You know, and... And yeah, we need to take care of ourselves more, you know. I think, you know, when you're sick, you're sick. You know, you should stay home. Another thing is about um, freedom. We are, day by day, we are losing our freedom in the States. Um, it happens to be that I was in Miami three months ago, and I was going around the city my friend and I were taking pictures of some of the buildings, some of the nice sites, and we pulled off to the side of the road, right? And we were taking some pictures. It was it was nighttime. It was probably eight or nine o'clock, but it was dark. And as we were ready to get back in the car to leave, a policeman pulled up behind us with his lights on. So we figured that we were parked in the wrong place. Okay. So we gave them the thumbs up and said, okay, we're going to leave. And we pulled off and he turned his lights off. Uh, one mile down the road, we were pulled over by this police car and another police car. For absolutely no reason, we were pulled over. And we had to spend 20 minutes with this policeman. You know, that is an invasion of, of our rights. You know, so that's the rights have been taken away in the states. So don't think that the American dream is freedom because day by day your freedoms are being taken away from you. So let's talk about taxes. That's another thing. They take this, uh, take this for granted from the citizens of the United States. How many times are you, are you taxed just for your car, for example? Number one, you're you're charged for a license to drive. Number two, you're charged for an inspection fee to make sure your emissions are okay. Another one, you are charged for a license plate fee. In At least in North Carolina, I'm not sure how it works all over the states, but at least in North Carolina, just to drive a car, there are three taxes. Now, how can you say that that the American dream still exists if you are always working, you never have time for your family and friends and to do things that you want to do. How can you say that the American dream exists if your freedoms are being taken away? One last definition of the American dream would be happiness. How can we be happy if we are always working, if we are always paying taxes, if we are always being harassed by the government, being overtaxed by the government, you know, in my opinion, the American dream has died.